The reason I think this recent paper is so important is that we found that about one out of every five butterflies have disappeared from the U.S. from 2000 to 2020, so it's a massive reduction in butterfly abundance. And then we're also finding that species are declining at about one to two percent per year, which is really consistent with other studies that have found this from around the globe, but nothing's ever been done at this scale. So we were looking at hundreds of butterfly species across the entire continent, which is a much bigger scale than looking at single species within one region. One of the things that I did as part of this project was generate range maps for all of the butterflies in North America because we could use those then to clean out observations. So for example, for species uh, like Julia skipper that are mostly found in Mexico and then kind of southern Texas, if somebody reported a record for that species in New York, we could flag it and remove it from the analyses as part of the data quality checks. One of the things I like to tell people about insect conservation especially is that conservation actions really work with insects because they can bounce back. They're already living on sort of the edge of a knife and so if we can reduce mortality at the egg stage from say 97% to 95%, that's gonna have huge population gains for insects and so small actions that individuals do like planting more wildflowers really can and do make a difference for butterfly conservation. Thank you.